<sighs> en route in Tilbury. Get a coffee or tea. Get a tea. All right, we're on the Ambassador Bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Indiana. 875.5 kilometers. Just checked in. Room's pretty nice. It's a room. I'm gonna have a nap. And then... Gen Con. Alright, it's day one of Gen Con, and we're heading over to the convention center. Picked up my bed. Okay, so how we're going to do this is, of course, we're going to open the open station. We're going to open the doors. Don't move. I want everybody to have a good, safe con. So if you need anything at all, just stop on us, okay? Time to head over to the Gen Con Film Festival opening ceremonies. Kessler Syndrome. It's a science fiction film about an astronaut trying to navigate his spaceship across a very treacherous debris field. And uh, it's playing on Saturday at 1.30 in Sci-Fi Log 2. But then if you kind of have an idea of what the actual shots would be, you could shoot a restaurant scene, you know, against a wall in somebody's living room and then make the atmosphere with audio after, right? And you're talking about a thousand, thousands of dollar difference. It's about preparation. The more you kind of know what the final vision is going to be, 
then you can you can make a lot of those decisions early and uh, save a lot or if you have a budget, spend a lot. Day two here at Gen Con. So it's Friday. There seem to be a lot more people here, I guess. People who weren't here Thursday, they're here today. So I was playing Mega Man 2, and I got really far actually. In about an hour, I'd gotten all the way to Dr. Wily, and suddenly I, I couldn't beat him. I mean, if you watch my Let's Play that I put online, I basically beat him, like not the alien part, but the second last when you fight him first. I basically used E-Tanks to stay alive and kill him, but at this point I got to him and I, I, I was out of E-Tanks, I didn't have any, and I was like, all right, I guess I'm not gonna beat this game. Would have been cool. Suddenly this guy behind me, hey, you know, if you use Crash Man and shoot it just underneath Wily, he will die really fast which I had no idea. So I tried it and sure enough, it happened. So uh, Zach, if you ever see this, shout out to Zach, who uh, revolutionized my Mega Man 2 gaming experience. He also told me that if you use Metal Man's weapon against Metal Man, he dies in like two shots, which I also didn't know. So big shout out to Zach, thanks a lot. I beat Mega Man 2 for the second time, thanks to you. Anyways, now I'm just arriving at the Westin. It's time to take in a block of sci-fi films. So here we go. for the Kessler Syndrome screening. Here we go. So the screening went well, got a good reaction. I was quite happy with it. I had made a few adjustments for the screening. I adjusted some of the color correction and did a bit of audio remixing just based on the experience of previous festivals. So I was really eager to see how this one would screen. And I liked it. Sailing on the seven seas, raiding the other ships, and sending them to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> hey guys, come on, traffic here, let's go. Get over. Do, 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 do. It's like we're running in a glorious Running space. in the water. Survived. I survived. But only barely. Who's steering this thing? Oh. I'm a DJ on the hood. We're gonna play it again. <laughs> so funny if they like ran over something. <laughs>
Could you take a picture of us? Thank you. Final day here at the con. I thought I'd take a final walk through the exhibitor booths and see if I see anything cool. Well, I mean, there are lots of cool things, but take it all in before it closes. Once again, welcome. I'm here aboard the USS French ship. We have our captain here on the hull. Our science officer, oh, no, I'm our engineering, engineering, engineering officer, now. science officer, I'm scanning. I'm scanning. and uh, your engineering, science, engineering, weapons. So we're working together, each of us are controlling a different aspect of the ship. And that's us floating around on that screen there, and we're just trying to survive. I'm seeing something on our radar. At approximately 220, never mind, that was my mouse cursor. <laughs> Whoops! Wait, what does Sulu say? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Where to, Captain? I have no idea. All yeah. systems back at 100% effectiveness. Preparing to jump to warp speed? Preparing. On your mark, Captain. Two, one, jump the gate. <laughs> enemy, enemy, enemy. Thank you, Nev. Yes. You see the three? So head toward the three. That's right. For repairs, if we can get there. Open comms. Here, I'm opening communications. Good day, officer. If you need supplies, please dock with us first. Yes, let's do it. Supply ship approaching. Transporting goods. Oh, what happened? He disappeared. Wait. Communications were cut. Suddenly cut. He just disappeared. Its move speed is 80. It's pretty fast. It's Victory! Well done, Captain. The you did it. You did it. You did it. Nice little work, crew. It has been an honor. So, thank you all for your service. You will and forever will be my friend. So we're inside the Crown Plaza Hotel. There's a train here, because it's a train station, but this train is actually converted into hotel rooms, so each one of these cars has a bunch of rooms in it. Pretty neat.